In Houston County, Game Warden Binge searches for a hunter on the edges of his property. Go ahead and clear your gun out, turn it upside down. Did I do something wrong? Well, we're gonna see. I gotta see where you're sitting at first. You gotta be 150 yards from occupied space. No, in, in that open field in that house on top of the hill up there is mine. I didn't yeah. think I was doing anything wrong. Yeah, well, it's like I said, my wife talks, she's in the house, and she hears a gunshot and says, I don't know where, but it blowed me out the house. Because, I mean, our, literally our house, see my front porch light? Uh, yes, sir, I can. <laughs> yeah, that's why it blowed her out the house. Are you done for the evening, or are you going to leave it here overnight, or what? Take all this down, take it back to my truck, and then tag it. Where was he standing at when you shot him? Where was I standing? No, the, no, the deer. Deer? Let's see. You were right. Right there. That little opening there? Yeah, that little opening. Okay. Binge determines that the man was more than 150 yards from his house and shooting away from that direction. We're going to go over and tag you, deer. It's a legal buck. I mean, he's right. 13 and a quarter inches. He's legal. The antler spread is a quarter inch over the 13 inch minimum. In another year or two, this buck would have reached full maturity and had a bigger rack. It's aggravating to see him be killed at a young age. But that being said, he was a legal deer. The hunter was hunting legally. You know, there, there's times we have to separate our personal feelings from our professional position and the job we hold. I did all I could do to make the situation the best that it could be. You ready? Yeah. All right. Am I clear to go? Yeah, you're good. You're good yeah, to go. I won't ever get that close again. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll tell her. I'll tell her. Thank you. Be careful. <laughs>